Hello everybody and welcome to this scouting report. I'm Dan Hayek here with armchair analyst Matt Doyle and today we're previewing the Saturday evening match between the Montreal Impact and Sporting KC. Matt, when the Impact acquired Jack McInerney, we wondered if Klopas would try to make a McInerney DeVio partnership work and he threw Jack Mack out there on Saturday and it paid dividends with McInerney scoring in his first half of action with the Impact. Will we see the two forward partnership again against Sporting KC? I, I think we will because I, I think Frank Klopas prefers to play a 4-4-2 with two true forwards mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think they acquired Jack McInerney to sit him. Uh, that said, if you're going to play Felipe with only one D mid behind him, whether it's Patrice Bernier, Colin Warner, or Hernan Bernardello, that's asking a lot because oh. those guys are going to have to do a lot of defensive work. They're going to have to win a lot of second balls in central midfield. That's tough. And the other issue is that the, the two wide players, Justin Mapp on one side, Andres Romero on the other side, they're not really shuttlers for the sides of the diamond. They're more pure wing players. I mean, if you think about the team that makes the diamond work, it's RSL, and they have Luis Gill and Ned Grabovoy on the sides of their diamond. Those are very different types of players than we see in Montreal. So I think there are some things that they'll have to work out, but for now, probably going to see two forwards. All right, for Sporting KC, we know that they always find success on the restarts. That brings us to the magic number. It is 17. That's how many chances they've created already this year in just five games again, off of set plays. Now, the question is, we know they're going to get chances. Can Montreal defend them? I don't expect them to, not particularly well. It, man for man, sporting tend to overwhelm people uh, on restarts, whether they're free kicks or corners. And, and they just have a way of attacking the ball that nobody in the league quite matches at this point. And uh, Montreal, on the other hand, they've struggled. They haven't cleared their lines very well. We saw them give up. Uh, a set piece goal just last week against the fire. It hasn't been a strong suit for them. And, and hey, this is what sporting does. They're going to get restarts whether they're at home or on the road. They push you back into your own third and they force you to concede corners. They force you to concede fouls and eventually you see Aurelian Colin rising above everybody and thumping one home. All right, well, we'll see if Colin is in fact the difference in this one. It kicks off at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can watch it on MLS Live.